let me now ask you a question. What happens when your biggest strength becomes a weakness? Now, let me give you an example. Huawei, China's tech giant, China's ticket to global supremacy. If America has its way, Huawei will become China's biggest liability, or one of them. The Huawei story is not a new one. It was around before the Wuhan virus. Before the outbreak, the world was divided on Huawei. The world was preparing for 5G and Huawei was the biggest player. The United States tried very hard to block it, to keep Huawei away from lucrative international contracts, but it had limited success. Not everyone listened to America. Now the tables have turned. The momentum is against China and by association against Huawei. The world wants to make China pay and a short, short, short way of punishing Beijing is by blocking Huawei. Looks like it's happening already. This week is going to be a critical one for this company. The United States has imposed strict well, bans. They, it is keeping American technology out of Huawei's hands. The Trump administration has made moves to block global chip makers from supplying to Huawei. The ban was introduced last year. Now the US has tightened the rules, made it more effective, you could say. Chip makers that use equipment or technology from the US are not allowed to sell to Huawei. And this is a serious blow because these chips are basically the building blocks of modern tech supply chains. You cannot make any computing device without these chips. So when the ban was announced, Huawei did not waste any time in slamming America. The US is leveraging its own technological strengths in an attempt to crush companies outside its own borders. This will only serve to undermine the trust that international companies place in US technology and US supply chains. Ultimately, we believe this will harm US interests. They say when it rains, it pours. Huawei is experiencing the same. Troubles from all sides. First the American bans, now Britain's rethink. Britain, remember, was all set to roll out 5G with Huawei. Now it is rethinking. Boris Johnson's government may ditch the Chinese company after all. The British National Cyber Security Centre has launched a probe against Huawei. Reports say Prime Minister Boris Johnson has issued a clear order to his team. Britain must plan to end its dependence on Huawei. If the United Kingdom bans Huawei, chances are that other countries might follow. And then we have Canada, no love lost with Huawei there. Last week, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau took a swipe at China. This is about Meng Wangzhu, Huawei's chief financial officer. She was arrested in Canada, in Vancouver, back in December 2018. She was accused of fraud. Now, China has been pressing Canada to release Meng. In response, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said, and I quote, China does not seem to understand that we do have an independent judiciary. Canada has an independent judicial system uh, that functions without uh, interference or, or uh, uh, override by politicians. It is one of the things that is deeply dear to Canadians in our system uh, to keep it uh, strong and, uh, and to assure the division of powers within our democracy. China doesn't work quite the same way and don't uh, seem to understand that we do have an independent judiciary from political uh, intervention. Forget independent judiciary. China does not understand the concept of independence, period. Doesn't understand the meaning of democracy or the rule of law. So it repeated its demand for Meng Wanzhou's release today. The determination of Chinese government to safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of Chinese citizens is unswerving. The Canadian side should correct its mistakes and release Meng Wanzhou immediately and ensure that she returns to China safely to avoid causing continuing damage to Canada and China relations. Canada should correct its mistakes, he says. Canada is yet to respond. The Supreme Court of British Columbia is hearing the case. They are expected to deliver a verdict tomorrow. But even if the embattled CEO, CFO is released, it does not mean that Huawei's troubles in Canada will be over. Because even the Canadian government is thinking about banning its equipment.
So far, they haven't taken a decision. The Canadian press says Justin Trudeau is not saying anything about this. But his government is consulting Canada's national security agencies. Huawei faces some tough times ahead. The Wuhan virus has rocked its boat and how.